Today, inshallah, we will talk about why you should regularly exercise. Okay, you need to work out. Why? This is what we will talk about, inshallah. Working out on a regular basis, you know, exercising is something that you can't do away with. If you are healthy, if you are able physically, you should exercise. And if you can do this on a daily basis, six days a week, that's the ideal thing. If not, then three times a week or at least two times a week. This is something very important. Why would I talk about this? Why would we bring up something just like this? Because life is all interconnected. Things in our lives are all interconnected. Your relationship with Allah is not separate from your lifestyle. It's not separate from your physical health. It's not separate. Because if you don't really look after your body, you won't be able to worship Allah as well as you would like to. Being able physically, and this is something that you can achieve by looking after your body, will actually help you improve your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you are focused in that direction. It just enables you to take your relationship with Allah to the next level. And it does. And that's what it did to me. And this is why I'm making this video just to share my experience with you. You know, physical exercise has so many benefits, so many benefits that could help you in your life, in your daily affairs, in your worldly affairs, and even in things that, are, that pertain to the hereafter, things that pertain to your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It helps you so much. And inshallah, we will talk about these, some of the benefits that you can actually get from physical exercise. The first thing that I'd like to mention, one of the first benefits of physical exercise, that physical exercise is actually a metaphor and when you do it when you exercise regularly you bring this metaphor into your life you give it life you bring it to life and it becomes active in your in the way you view life the way you view yourself the way you look at yourself and by the way your self-image has a lot to do with your physical condition so when you when you actually exercise you are strengthening your body you're more in control and that could actually change or can increase the level of self-esteem that could actually positively impact your self-image and you know your self-image is central to everything you think and everything you do and everything you feel it's at the center of all of this it's how we human beings function your self-image is at the center of every activity whether it's conscious or unconscious so when you exercise you're actually impacting your you know self-esteem your self-image positively and why did I say exercise is actually a metaphor? It's a metaphor because exercise is something that you can actually do. So, something that you can do now, on the spot, you can do some exercise. Okay, It's not something that you have to plan to and make long-term plans, you know, mid-term plans and all that stuff. No, it's something that you can do immediately. So if I decide to exercise now, I can exercise for half an hour. Okay, if I'm not really fit, I can exercise for half an hour if it's a mild kind of exercise or light kind of exercise. You can still exercise, you can still do it. So that's the good of it. It's the fact that it's immediate. It's something you can do now and you can get its results even immediately as well. You feel good about yourself. You feel more in control. And that's what I said. Exercise is a metaphor. It's a metaphor because it serves you in other areas of your life. Because it's something you can do now, it gives you a sense of control, a sense of mastery, and it gives you the payoff immediately, and even in the long term. But my focus here is on the immediate results. Because when you do exercise, you feel good about yourself. You develop this sense of mastery, this feeling of mastery. You've mastered your body, you've mastered yourself. You, you've achieved something now, you just can feel it. And this is why exercise, as I said, it actually satisfies one of the most basic needs that we have psychologically as humans is the need for mastery, the need for competence. We need to feel that we are competent, that we can master ourselves and our surroundings. So would you exercise, even if it's a light exercise, it's a, um, you know, not necessarily heavy exercise, still, you actually, it gives you that feeling of mastery and competence and control. And this could make a huge difference in your life, a huge difference in how you view yourself. So this is why I said it's a metaphor. You will use this metaphor, this exercise, that gives you the sense of mastery and sense of competence. So it can actually make you or raise the level of your hope that you can actually achieve mastery and uh, competence in other areas of your life that require more work probably on uh, extended periods of time. 
So this is why it works as a metaphor. So exercise, phys physical exercise, physical workout is a powerful metaphor for your life. It just gives you a proof that I can do it, that I can get results because you get it now. You get it immediately. And that's why it's so powerful. So that's probably, to me, this is the most important thing about physical exercise. It serves as a metaphor. It gives you a strong message. It gives you a proof that you can actually do something and you can get the results. So you feel this sense of agency that you have now, immediately. So this empowers you to embark on other things that you thought or uh, probably you thought you weren't able to do, but it actually increases your sense of competence, your sense of mastery. So now you develop the hope and probably the expectation, maybe the confidence that I can actually do other things as well. It just, it changes all, your whole chemistry. And this takes me to point number, to benefit number two, which is basically when you exercise, research has found that when you do physical, ex when you exert yourself physically, when you do exercise, especially regularly, what happens, your body produces chemicals that are called happiness hormones, like dopamine, serotonin, and others, that kind of family of hormones that actually increase your sense of well-being, your happiness, your, content your contentment, and it, it just improves your mood in general. So when you do this, and when you, do, when you exercise regularly, you maintain those levels uh, to, uh, like, to a very good level continuously, consistently. You're there. So this is another benefit. This is why usually people, when they do some physical exercise, they feel fulfilled. They feel happy. They feel euphoric. You see, this kind of euphoria is after you do some exercise. It's all, it's chemical and it's psychological. It's mental because you feel good about yourself. You feel you're able. You feel you can do certain things. So this is why you can actually do some exercise. It could actually raise the level of your hopes because now you feel you can do something. And you know, research in positive psychology has found out that when the level of our happiness is up, we tend to be more optimistic, usually. We tend to be more accurate to assess when we assess our abilities and our competence. And we tend to raise the bar when it comes to our goals. So we tend to start wanting to achieve something greater, something bigger, something more important, something that seems to be probably more difficult, more challenging. So you expand your life. You expand your aspirations when you do physical exercise because it shifts your mood within this kind of chemistry balance that it creates, new chemistry balance that it creates within your body. Uh, physical exercise as well improves the, the functioning of all the organs within your body, your heart, your liver, your, uh, your you know, di digestive system, and your kidneys, everything, your brain, it boosts everything. It just it improves everything in your body. Everything starts functioning at a better level, in, in, a, in more balance. So that's just because you, you're keeping this kind of exercise. That's number three. Another benefit that actually gives in uh, benefit number four, and this is a result of the previous ones as well, is that you will start to notice when you do physical exercise that your sleep pattern will improve. So you will need less hours of sleep. I cut my sleeping hours by two when I started exercising about 20 months ago. Oh, since I started exercising, you know, my sleeping hours started going down and down and down and down. And I, I don't feel I need more sleep because my body now re rejuvenates itself, it recreates, it increases the, uh, you know, generative processes within the body. So it heals itself, it rebuilds itself without the need for so much sleep. Because obviously when you're exercising, you're taking in more oxygen and it nourishes your whole body. So I, I, I stopped having difficulty waking up for Fajr. Uh, like when I wanted to do certain acts of worship, probably at night or teaching when I'm traveling, doing courses and all that, I started having stamina. I, I, I didn't get tired. When I wanted to wake up early, I could wake up early. In the past, it was a struggle. But now it became much more easier than it used to be. And this actually frees your mind to do more things, to do other things of greater value. So why struggle physically and, you know, delay yourself or hinder your progress? You actually, by exercising, you improve all of this. So look at, how, there are so many benefits if I were to mention all the benefits of exercise. And these are, this is the reason why I'm mentioning this. Why do, why as a Muslim, as a practicing Muslim, 
okay you need to do more exercise as i said it just serves as a metaphor and it empowers you improves your self image uh, it it also Im improves your chemistry we said and increases the level of your happiness and well-being you're more likely to set you know greater goals more inspirational goals for yourself it, it raises the level of your aspirations and so that actually it expands your life and it makes you a better person, aspire, aspire greater things. And the third benefit, is, as I said, is actually it improves all the processes in your body. Everything in your body starts working better. And as a result, you'll need less sleep, you'll get less tired, so you can help more people, you can do more good deeds. And you can... It's just, it's another quality of life, it's a higher quality of life. So why do away with it? Sometimes, some, sometimes people say, usually the, ex, the excuse is, um, you know, I don't have time for it. You know, but if you exercise for half an hour every day, that's going to give you, reduce your sleep and probably you'll get two hours in, in return. So it's a great investment. I know it's difficult to uh, get started because of procrastination. We'll keep saying, okay, tomorrow, next week, next week, next month. When I finish, when I, you know, I, when I'm done with this project or when I get married or when I work, or when I, you know, there's always an excuse. But excuses are never good reasons. If you want to start, and that's my, that, I recommend this. I highly recommend this. Start exercising, okay? At least start first with, start off with two times a week, half an hour each, with light exercises, probably uh, walking, yeah? Or probably some jogging. Um, and then some push-ups and press-ups, etc. And you keep increasing, probably get it up to three times a week, uh, four times a week, or five times a week, half an hour each session, just half half an hour, and you can find online. There are so many, uh, you know, websites that and and videos on YouTube that really tell you about ideal exercises. If you want to burn more fat, if you want to strengthen your body, so you can find whatever you want. Information is all over the place, so you can find it. But what we lack is not the information; is the motivation. Start now, and if you can't find a good partner then that's great. But if you can't find, I didn't find a partner, but I did it myself, and I linked my physical fitness to my ultimate goal, which is worshipping Allah and achieving what I want to achieve in this life for the sake of Allah. When I linked my physical exercise to this, I didn't have to push myself to do it. I first, Sometimes the first thing in the morning when I wake up, I just, I, I feel full of energy. I want to do my exercise because I feel, I do it with intention that it's going to strengthen my body, it will help me achieve the best results in this life and please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more, achieve more for the sake of Allah. So that's why I do my exercise. I just do it for this reason and this energizes me. I don't have to push myself. I don't have to drag myself to go and do the exercise. Sometimes people might find more empowered or more, maybe it's, it's easier for them to do it in the gym. They feel more motivated. There'll be more encouragement. That's good for you. Some other people might be actually it might be better for them to do it by themselves okay just like myself that's how i do it if i go to the gym I, i'm sure i'll give it up but i'm motivated myself about it so you, you need to find out the best recipe for yourself there's no one answer for all okay just find out what it is as long as you link your physical fitness to worshiping allah and achieving the goals that you want to achieve in life you don't have to push yourself to do it and as i said it's a powerful metaphor because once you start exercising you know, just pay attention to this, how much symbolism there is. First, it gives you a sense of competence and accomplishment. Like, I'm actually, I can do things, I can be in control. And I'm achieving results now, because when you're physically fit, you can notice that in everything in your life, your sleeping pattern, your eating pattern, your energy levels, and all that stuff. So you can get immediate results. And it can also, if you do it consistently, it can actually symbolize your ability to do things consistently until you get them done. So it's so powerful as a metaphor that can really change your self-image so profoundly and take you from failure to success, from procrastination to action and motivation. So hopefully, try to do this to the best of your ability. And I really, the payoff is so great. The investment is worth it and the payoff you get is way, way beyond the time or the effort that you put into it. Our bodies were created to be active, not to... Uh, you know, overwhelm them with so much food and uh, which is probably as well junk food and with laziness all the time. That doesn't work. That destroys your body. You need to take good care of it. It will serve you and it will allow you to reach newer heights with your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, newer heights with your energy levels, newer heights with the achievement of your goals and fulfillment in life.
that was my personal experience and it's still progressing and I hope Allah will help me push it even more and more. Now, if you like the video, press the like button, share it with your friends, with your family, with everyone who could benefit from this. And until we meet with another video, Assalamu alaikum.